everybody that inhabits it how is it going today is wednesday hi hello happy hump day um i should have really prepared something that i was gonna say to introduce the video and i, I didn't but uh hello Nice to meet all of you. If I haven't said it before, I'm gonna say it again. My name is Genesis. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my channel. My channel has no rhyme. How do you? Say, what's the saying? My channel has no rhythm, no rhyme, no structure. Whatever the heck it is, it has none of that. It just is what it is. I just pick up the camera and go, pretty much. Sometimes it's a follow me in the week. Sometimes I'm a homebody. Sometimes we talk about business. As of lately, I, you know, I've made a crochet little bitness out here i have a dog who every now and then likes to be in the vlog say hello to the people Do no oh he's giving y'all major side eye i'm just chilling in my home i'm home from work had a long day i have a headache since like yesterday but it came and went but i think this headache is more so like not eating enough and i should have known but still it is what it is i'm fine it'll start to go away later in a little bit anyways so it's Wednesday. I've said that like six times already, so now you know what day it is right now. Secondly, what is on the list for me to do? Again, I never have a plan. Never. <laughs> never have a plan. So if you come here looking for structure and organizations and plans, I try to have it. I really do, but it just never works out. He is just obsessed with what my hand is doing right now. <laughs> Anywho, big thing that I do need to accomplish today, or at least do a big chunk of, is editing. I need to edit the vlog that's going to go up prior to this one, of course. So I have to do that. And to do that, I have to take all the clips from my card, my memory card, put it on my computer, wait for it to all settle in the computer, and then start editing. So that's the only real thing I have planned for today. Things might come up as we go, I don't know. But today's number one goal, as it is now seven o'clock and I wasted an hour just scrolling on my phone. As of, as of late, like that's just been like my problem area. Getting organized <laughs> and doing things that I'm supposed to and not lollygagging or procrastinating. So that's what I've been doing. So hopefully we get a good chunk of editing done today and then we'll go from there i haven't mentioned it i don't think i mentioned it in the last vlog i think i like said it but i didn't show if i'm not mistaken i don't know because i haven't edited the vlog yet but i have a new product that i'm going to put on my etsy that i've made of course there's always room for um customization if you want it customized but i made my i made a i was gonna call it a scarf it's not a scarf it's a headband I, isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I mean, you can put, I think pushing it back more is the way I like it, like that. I'll use every, I'll use any and every opportunity to try and cover up my forehead. But to me, the headband looks a lot better when I push it back a little bit and you can see the hairline here. Like, I would love to like pull it over my, my forehead here and give myself less of a forehead since, you know, I got a five head, six head situation going on, that's okay. But um, if my hair were like up and out and poofy like afro-y, then I probably would bring it down some more. But it, I like how it looks like this. Super cute. I love it. I love it. I, I made my own pattern. Like I just freehanded it. I looked at some video, not videos, but like pictures and stuff like that and like tutorials. I was like, yeah, I mean, I get the gist of it. And then I just kind of did it the way that I like to do it. I'm sure probably there's other ones that look like this, but... I kind of just made it how I wanted to make it. I may or may not make these things longer. I'm thinking about it, but some people who have longer hair maybe might not want that and getting it all tangled up in their hair. But if that's something that you wanted or you wanted the straps longer, then I could maybe make that something that you can customize or ask for that. But um, I'm, I'm working on another color, just kind of going through my yarn. So I have this one. This is the pastel green and this is the forest green. I have, of course, other colors that I'll probably try and fit some time in to make a whole bunch and then I will put them all on the Etsy shop. So yeah, that's, this is what I really wanna do because it's new and exciting for me, but I really need to edit. Anywho, I've been babbling for what it looks like six minutes now. I need to like stop. So catch you guys on the flip when I have something new and exciting to talk about or update, yada yada. I also have to walk Smokey in between that time so that's what i'll be doing nothing i promise you i'm not depriving you of anything nothing funny is going on i promise also isn't it isn't it just the cute i love it 
I love it so much. I love it. <laughs> Hi, Elon. It's time for another update. I'm in my bathroom right now because I thought I'd give you a new view that is in my living room or my kitchen. So we're in my bathroom. It's a little echoey in here. So, and I have the door closed because the AC is on full blast and it's starting to get hot in here anyway. So I just wanted to like real quick update. I managed to finish another bandana, bandana, headband. I managed to finish another headband. I've made three so far, a black one, a green one, and a dark green one. But, um, Excuse me, I look like a hot mess. I'm oily and I need a shower, but I finished another one and I think I finally got like the pattern pattern thing down. Like I know how long and whatever I want it to be. And then if anybody wants to customize, I can customize it. I've been going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to add like little like name embroideries or something like that. I mean, like I could, but like I want to keep it simple for now. And then if people want something else, then they can just like ask for it, you know what I mean? But this is what she's looking like. If I knew how to tie a proper bow, I think it would look cute back here, but I tied it up in a bow. You could also just do like a knot. You could also just like knot it and let the strings kind of hang like this, if that's what you wanted. But if I wanted to, do, I don't know if I like that. I mean, I like it, but if I did something like that, I would want it like long, that's just me. But I do like the bow for myself, so. I made that, super happy about it. So that is pretty much going to go up on my Etsy shop as you watch this video. Okay, be fair warning. <laughs> my hair is all gross lately, I need to wash it. So as you're watching this video, the headband should already be on my Etsy shop. So I'm gonna take some more pictures, make some more in different colors, think about whether or not I wanna do like embroideries or something to like put like designs on it so it's not just one plain, you know, color, but these are the headbands and they pretty much fit any head i would hope i hope so but yeah um did i mention what day it was today today is thursday and you guys know how i feel about thursday <sighs> it's so good my video is done and edited it's been uploaded thumbnail and everything is like literally ready to go when it's like ready to go and like done i like want to like release it now but like if i release it now release it too soon and then i'll be like scrambling to try and like post another video so it's up there, it's waiting to be posted on Saturday, so you'll see that video on Saturday. If there's anything more eventful happening, I will update you guys as we go, but I don't think you want to stare at me doing this for hours. You know, it's pretty much the same thing. If you want a tutorial on how I did this, please let me know. I'm not an expert on uh, <laughs> making tutorials because I've, I don't even know how to crochet properly, okay? I'm not even going to say I'm an expert at crocheting. I just kind of, my favorite stitch is a double crochet. That's it, like I'm that's I'm her girl. <laughs> Double crochet is all the way, like I love it. But if you wanted to learn or see or were wondering how I made it, I could let you know. What if this was like a cute Did I come up with something? <laughs> I don't know. What if I've also like fooled around with the idea of making a tie, a crochet tie, because that'd be cute, but like what would I wear it with? Also, this is, this is something, <laughs> this is something, you could do this if you wanted to. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing, and then tomorrow's Fricka Fricka Friday, which is also fun and exciting, and hopefully there are new products to come once I make a whole bunch of colors of the headbands, so, yeah. Good morning, it's the weekend. <laughs> morning today is saturday it's officially the weekend i didn't vlog anything i don't think yesterday i kind of just was doing a lot of like crochet stuff i made a couple headbands they turned out really really cute took some pictures of them put them on my etsy and then i kind of just like knocked out i was just like that's it i'm done. but then again i went to bed at 11 and i'm now getting up i got up at maybe I want to say nine and then i've been lollygagging for about an hour and a half it's up it's 10 38 right now so this is where we're at. Finished making my coffee. I'm gonna make myself a glass, a cup, and get my morning started. Hold on. Normally, what you're supposed to do is put your creamer in first, and then your hot coffee. That way, 
the temperature stays hot. That's some BS I made up on my own. If it's true, I don't know, but I never put my coffee in first. I always put my creamer in first and my battery's gonna die. <laughs> Love it. There's professionals here. And I'm back. Okay, so pretty much, wait a minute. So pretty much, yes, today's Saturday. The video that I edited before this one, of course, obviously, is already done, uploaded. I scheduled it to upload today at 10.30 and it's 10.43, so it's been up for a little bit. Um, so I feel very accomplished right now. And what do I have to do next? Well, pretty much I just gotta sort out breakfast. I need breakfast. Usually on Saturdays, I like to make myself a little bit of waffles. I ran out of my sausages. I forgot to get some more, so do I want it with eggs? Or do I make cereal? Usually when I can't make a decision, I flip a coin. I think it's stupid and ridiculous, but it helps me out. Like the other day when I couldn't figure out what kind of chips to eat, I literally closed my eyes, did this, and picked one off the floor. I was just like, I'll eat this one then. Because I am so indecisive, I'd rather ha have other people figure things out for me. So I'm going to go get a coin, I'm going to go flip it, and that's how we'll decide what breakfast is. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so I got a nickel, and heads is... I keep wanting to say pancakes. Heads is waffles, tails is plantains. Ready? Nickel. Here's a nickel. Here's a nickel. Right? Heads is what is it? Heads is waffles, tails is plantains. Okay, ready? I also don't know how to flip this right. I caught it midair. We're gonna flip it, and it's tails. Tails means plantains. It is. I got a whole bunch of these the other day. I think I want to say that maybe a week and a half or so ago at Walmart. They were like 15 cents each and I, being the Dominican that I am, I was like, I have to have 14 of them. I bought a lot for no reason. Again, it's only me and I could probably eat maybe one and a half on a good day. I bought myself like eight. What am I doing with eight of them? And you know, I put them in the refrigerator hoping that it would save them for them not to go back. This, I have, I have three. This one's the third one. Now I have two left. I don't know, and I'm trying to eat them before they go bad. So, thank goodness the coin decided properly. So, yeah. For those of you who don't know, since there's a lot of new people on my channel, I am Dominican. I suck at speaking Spanish. I can if I want, if my life depended on it. If my life depended on it. Donde esta la biblioteca? Like, I got you. I'm gonna make brekkie. And then shower and get ready for the day. I really need to wash my hair today. Like today, like I have to. I have to wash my hair today or like we're just gonna cut it all off. I really do need to wash it. It's been several weeks, so I'm embarrassed. All right guys, time for another update. As you can see, I'm clean. I showered after a couple days, finally. I'm kidding. After I finished having breakfast, I did the dishes and then I was playing some music and the music like compels me to like do a little bit of a cleaning around the house. So clean the kitchen, living room, tidied it up. My room is not so much like my bed and stuff, but like the bathroom, that's all clean too. So I'm feeling pretty good, pretty productive. That means tomorrow, my usual cleaning day, Sundays, like I have no cleaning to do. Not no cleaning, but like a lot less cleaning than I would normally have to do. So that feels good. That feels great. This white shirt is making me feel very cute right now. Look at me. I washed my hair and then I put it in the same slick back thing again. Um, I, there's a lot of hair gel, a lot of hair spray in here to kind of sleek it down. So like now I'm like, well, what was the point of cleaning my hair, washing my hair? If I just put all that same gunk on top of it again. What was me? But um, I was going to leave the house earlier today to like get some stuff that I was missing for the house and stuff, but like I really don't need it. And number two, my bank account said no, you need to stay your ass home because every time you go, you don't know how to budget. So <laughs> we're staying home today. Tomorrow, maybe I'll stop by the store, to the dollar store maybe, to like get a bucket and a mop because the steam mop and the Swiffer is not cutting it. And I don't like how disgusting and dirty the floor is. I, I can't anymore. I don't want to and I can't and like it grosses me out. As much as the mop grosses me out, the floor is also grossing me out. So I guess every now and then I'll just change the mop and waste money on mops, but still the floors here, I hate it so much. I don't like it. <laughs> so that's a real quick update. What else is there? I'm currently making a little bit of a YouTube short or a TikTok, I mean, well both. I'm trying to make one of my headbands. I was gonna wear this today, but I figured why not make a white one? So 
I am currently making a white one. This is my tripod right here, my, my, my cup, because I need a new tripod. That one is short, but also is like tall enough, for, you know what I mean, like, like a, like a, I'm trying to, like this size. I want a tripod about this big, if that makes sense. So right now I'm using my cup as a tripod and I'm um, having a little bit of a snack, Ruffles chips and my LaCroix, and I'm just going to town. And I'm gonna watch something on the TV. I don't know what that is yet, but yeah. Ah, ah, what do you guys think? I love it, it matches my shirt. That's why I picked white, <laughs> but cute. I'm all done with the headband. I'm gonna go outside in a little bit and take some pictures slash videos so I can edit a little short together. And me and Smokey are gonna leave the house. That way he gets a little bit of an excursion today. We're gonna go to my mom's house as I usually do one of the days out of the weekend just to get him to go run around in the yard carefree. So that is what I'm doing now. All of our stuff is ready and packed. I just gotta head out the door. Fun, fun, joy, joy. Let's see if I can get a better lighting. Oh, and the sun went away. I was gonna come in here because the lighting was a little bit better, but it's fine. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. Just wearing her down like that. Usually I'll tie it like in a bow, but right now I, f I like the dangly because this is like, you know what I mean? Hi guys, I'm back home now. I've been home now for a while now. My face is a little bit greasy. I'm about to probably take this war paint off, shower, and um, come right back to the same spot I am right now. But um, no, I've been crocheting for a little bit since I've been home, trying to figure out this whole like bralette top. And I think I got it down in the way that I want it to. Cause the other way that I've been seeing, like the standard way, I just don't like it. I mean, it's fine, but when it's finished, it has like this little weird point on the nipple, which I just, I can't, I don't like it. And it comes to a point where you have to like make the strap and it's thin and I just hate this thought of it just digging into like your shoulder and stuff. Women things, lady things with boobies, whatever. Um, that's been a whole thing and I've been avoiding making clothes for that reason because I don't want it to be feel uncomfortable and heavy or whatever to wear. So I made a bra cup in a different way, just straight across as opposed to the other way that people normally do it and it fits fine. I like it. Um, just a random yarn I picked up. So I've done one cup. I'm working on the second one over here and I thought that I would just update you guys on what I've been doing, what I'm currently up to. And um, I just had dinner, cereal. Uh, Smokey had his dinner too. And I'm just watching The Office. And that's pretty much what's going on. I want to get this figured out so that I can make tops and put it on my shop. Smokey, you had a long day? You went out, you went out to grandma's house? You ran all over the backyard. You, you barked at people that weren't there. You barked at the dog that was on the other side of the fence that you couldn't see. Ha, ha, anything else you wanna add? Anything else you wanna add? No, that was it. You had an eventful day. Hello everyone. Good morning or good afternoon for me at least right now. I think it's like 12 o'clock. Um, I've been having like a moment, but it's not really a moment, okay? This is just what happens um when you have like a new business there are gonna be just times where you're just like in a lull i feel like i have so much stuff now that i've made and i'm just like well do i stop making stuff because i don't want to like have a whole house full of just crochet stuff just sitting here or do i keep making new stuff i mean i like doing it <laughs> but i don't want to have like nothing but that stuff here like taking up space you know what i mean but then again, it's fine, I don't know. Like, I made a whole bunch of the headbands already and they're here. I mean, I'm debating on whether I wanna custom, customize them and do like other stuff and put them, I don't know. That's, that's what's going on currently. And then, I think I showed you guys last night that I was making um, a bralette and I think I like the method that I came up with in terms of like bra like cups and stuff like that so here she is i like it a lot actually it's a lot better than the other one i would make where you go up and down and then it would have this like weird nipple thing sticking out which i, I just i didn't like but 
I think it's kind of cute. It's it's a work in progress. We're almost done. I've been struggling with what I want to do with the straps because I feel like a thicker strap is always better the bigger the cup because then it just feels like you have all this weight digging into your shoulders and like I hate that. That's why I hate wearing bras a lot of the time because they just dig into my shoulders and like why? So that's what's been going on. I've been debating on whether I wanted the whole thing to be tied in the back but then I don't like a whole tie mess situation, you know what I mean? Like I just want it to work and be simple and not just like suffocating. But here's a little, little demo that I made. I probably will just keep this for me. I don't know. It is my size anyways, but that was what I was working on and it kind of came together. I am not mad at it. It's pretty, pretty good. So I'll try to finish this today and uh, maybe take some pictures and stuff and see what the people think and yeah that's it I've just been having a moment just like <sighs> you started a small business child I don't know why you thought that you would just be like drowning in orders because you're not yet it's gonna take some time and that's just something that you have to come to terms with and just keep making the things that you like to make and eventually the orders will trickle in and that's okay so yeah <laughs> just been moping around this morning just i've just been like mindlessly making that bralette and then just like thinking of like nobody likes the stuff that i'm making but still not, it's not there hasn't been like many eyes on my product anyways i just slap my knee very hard so i just gotta give myself some time and not like give up it's fine try not to give up so yeah, I'm gonna go shower right quick so that we can head on out and do what we need to do and come back home and yeah. Fun! You need fun? So much fun, so much fun. Nah. Alright guys, I'm just waiting on my clothes to dry at the moment. I'm at the laundromat, I'm sitting in my car crocheting away and someone literally just opened their door and hit my car. I don't know what is up with people lately and hitting my car in the parking lot like you could have parked anywhere else and you had to park right next to me there's literally open spots in other areas yet you parked right next to me and now you hit my car ah <sighs> fun fun joy joy i went to walmart and i got some stuff i ended up getting eggs which oopsies on my part because I was like well I kind of still have to go sit at the laundromat while my clothes <laughs> wash and dry so hopefully they don't go bad they're back there and I'm just trying not to look at them or mess with them and hopefully they're okay them hitting my car just now just like ruined my whole mood I'm sure the car is fine but just like <sighs> seriously have some courtesy number one number two again like I just mentioned there's like plenty of other parking and they parked right next to me super close they even like readjusted their car as they were parking to try and like not get so close to me and it's just like you see that you don't fit move your car but no hello it's me again it's been one hell of an afternoon but I feel very productive today should have just been like a, or this weekend should have been like a reset sort of vlog I just did a lot of things that I feel really really good about cleaned everything my main thing is cleaning i love to just clean and start over because you can never start over too many times start over as many times as you want to because why not so i meal prepped finally well not prepped prep i mean i made food but they're not all in like bowls they're just in the refrigerator and i had some for dinner and it was pretty good you can't well can't really see it through the bowl but that's how much i have left and then that's uh uh, which we'll call it <laughs> that is for my lunch tomorrow at work so i did pretty pretty good i'm very proud of myself pat on the back for that i'm going to make like a side of salad to take with me to work if i feel like it if not it's okay but i have salad in there if i need to like make something when i come home but i have cooked it was delicious sometimes i feel like i can't cook and then like i amaze my own self <laughs> so yeah after i cooked i pretty much cleaned i cleaned as i was cooking because I don't like all of it like piling up and then that's when I get lazy and I don't want to do it because it's like so much like dishes in the in the sink so it's just like if I clean as I go it'll seem like a lot less when I'm done and it was and I was already in the motions of cleaning that it just kind of worked out and it's clean um earlier if I've mentioned I think I did I went and I got I went to Walmart and I got myself the bucket 
and the mop. I literally just unwrapped it now and I was like, wait a minute, I haven't vlogged since I've gotten home. So I have some warm water in there. I'm gonna put in some fabuloso and just really go over my floors a couple times and then really do a really good job like this coming weekend. But like it was just today that I just like, I, it needs it. So I'm gonna do that and I threw all of my laundry on my bed because I figured I cannot go to bed. I'll probably just move it to the side. But I figured if I throw it all over my bed, I'll probably be forced to put it away before I go to sleep. So that is the plan. Other than that, I'm like itching to get back to making that bralette. So the quicker I get, oh, what did I just hit? <laughs> the quicker that I mop these floors, the quicker I can go back to doing that because it's not that late anyways. It's only eight o'clock, well, it's 7.55. So, it's almost 8 o'clock. I feel like I'm doing good with time. Feeling great. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. I can't believe I have this mop in my house. I'm gonna be my, buying mop heads like once a month. I feel like that's just the norm. That should be the norm, right? Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hello. It's been a minute. It's been a hot minute since I picked up the camera to record anything for the vlog. But I'm back. I've been going through some internal turmoil, if that makes sense. As you guys saw, I just started a crochet business, etc., on my Etsy, right? And if you don't know, let me remind you, or if you're new here, let me tell you. My first passion in like crafts and creations has always been sewing, making clothes, what have you. Like that's oh, this has always been it. I've had sewing machines like throughout my entire life, my entire life as if I'm like 100 years old, but I've always had a love for making clothes, right? And I took a break from it when I moved in here because I was doing it nonstop before I moved out of my, out of, I'm gonna take that my face is itching, I'm trying to itch it, hold on. Making clothes is what I was doing before I moved into my um, apartment at the beginning of this year. And I took a little bit of a break from it because the moving just kind of threw me off and I really don't have like the space that I want for it. Like it's all just like crammed up into my room besides the point. I took a break from it and then I said, you know what, I'll do crochet because I can bring my crochet with me anywhere I go. I can make it and whatever. When there's downtime, I can make this up with a crochet. But like I've been missing my girl here. I've been missing her so much and um, I finally found a pattern of a shirt that I want to like make. I've been looking for a really good pattern. That's like another thing. I couldn't find a pattern of just a nice like tank top that wasn't like one of these. Just like a throw on kind of like linen shirt. I couldn't find one until I found one and um, here we are. Here we The light is fluctuating because the sun is going in and out, in and out. So that's what's going on. But... I found a pattern, I'm busting out the sewing machine and we're gonna get right to it. Disclaimer, I will say, I know I just started a, a Nessie shop for my crochet and I figured why put myself in a box? You know, we don't like boxes here, we, we're free range chickens here, okay? Um, <laughs> I might have to change the title of that video or something, I have no idea, but like why just limit myself to crochet? That's another part where like I haven't been vlogging because like I don't know what to do or to say but then again it's like my channel so why does it matter? My life? I'm putting my life out there, how it is. So this will serve as an addendum to that video. Um, I will no longer just be a crochet business. I will be kind of sort of an everything umbrella-y business. Cause like then I feel like I can't, like I'm limiting myself and I, I, like I shouldn't, you know, I should be able to do whatever the heck I want to. So that's what's happening. I'm not giving up the crochet. I still have all my yarn and we've got to work through a whole bunch of that stuff anyway. So I'm not giving up the, the crochet business. However, we are adding to it and you know, the more the merrier basically pretty much. So with that being said, I'm going to get started. I got a pattern off of Etsy yesterday, printed it all out, stuck the pieces together. If I remember while I'm editing to put the link in the description of the, excuse me, of the uh, pattern I got off of Etsy, I will put it on there on the video description. But um, basically we're making a tank top sort of shirt, right? And my business motto is just, I guess you could say or like what I like to do in terms of like clothing is I like to use 
I guess recycled materials is the word like I don't buy new fabrics if that makes sense like if I find fabrics like curtains or, or bedding linen whatever at like the thrift store like I'm all for it so a lot of my clothes if I have enough I'll, will either be like one of a kind two of a kind three of a kind but they're never always gonna be the same like I'm not gonna like mass produce a whole bunch so that's what I was trying to make sense that was that's what I was trying to get at so um, I got this fabric not too long ago when I went thrifting I think I mentioned it like maybe two videos ago I went thrifting and got some shirts and all that good stuff and then I found this on my way out and I was like oh this would make something really I would make something really nice with this but I don't know what and I found what it is that I want to do with it so it's basically a tank top has no buttons no zippers or anything which is the kind of stuff that I want to make like it just be very easy to wear um clothing especially for the summer and then when I want to get like very um dramatic then we'll make those kind of clothes but like right now i wanted to keep it simple um i don't know exactly what else i want to add to just besides the fabric itself i was thinking of something to like make it different to add like black trimming or something to make it pop out but first the plan is to just put the thing together and look at it and see what to do from there so we're gonna be sewing we're gonna be crocheting. We're gonna just do a whole lot of things because this is my life. This is my life, you know. So, just wanted to address the elephant in the room. My sewing machine, she's back and better than ever and we're gonna use her and we're gonna continue using her and we'll every now and then put her on a break and every now and then we'll take her back out and that's as much as I need to explain because like I said, this is, this is what we do. This is what we do. We're just a crafty kind of girl. We just like making things with our hands. That's just me. Hello guys. I have new hair now. Did it myself. It took me about 12 hours and I'm exhausted. And my head hurts as because as because and now my brain is not working of course because i just literally finished so they're fresh everything's all just tight so i'll get over the headache what's a headache to me i always have headaches anyways but if you've gotten to this point in the vlog i completely agree with you in the sense that there has not been not one single stream of like things that make sense it's all been all over the place it is what it is i have no idea i had really no plans this week of what I wanted to do there was just a lot of like ideas and whatever and what have you and I was having one of those moments I've had this moment like months ago one of those moments where you're like all right my hair is like affecting my entire mood right now like it affects everything and then it's mostly because I don't want to do it I like my hair and I don't want to always do it so this is supposed to save me time stress an effort in the morning and slash throughout the day and sometimes i don't want to pick up the camera because it's like Ugh, should i brush my hair but then there have been occasions where i don't brush my hair and i look like a hot mess and i'm just like it's my blood but at the same time it's like girl at least try you know what i mean so that's where we're with all of that it is thursday fourth of july thursday to be clear so i forgot where i started this vlog but yeah <laughs> yeah um i have been neglecting a whole lot of things messages youtube like all of it i've been neglecting it just because number one i've been busy with my hair number two yesterday i really wanted to get a dog and i went to the dog shelter i really want a small dog because i don't think i can handle a dog bigger than my dog already like it's either a little bit bigger than him if not smaller and fortunately, all the dogs that are at the shelter are pit bulls and I cannot, I would love, if I had a bigger space and more time, then I could get a bigger dog. But I just, I know I can't and it's not fair to the dog, even though I fell in love with one and I was so ready to take her home. I'm just like, girl, I can't do, we can't do this to each other. So I did end up getting the dog that I wanted just because she didn't seem too, too happy with me. Or just in general, she was just like in shock. So I just kind of like left her alone and Hopefully she gets adopted, but I, yeah, I was looking for a dog. I even bought a leash and everything and still nothing. So I've been wanting a dog forever. If you saw my vision board video, like at the beginning of the year, 
I have been wanting a dog since then. And we're another dog, we already have one. I've been wanting another dog since then and I haven't come across one. So I was like, if it's meant to be, a dog will come and cross my path, but I don't know when that is. But I have a leash now and a collar and yeah, whenever he or she is ready, I'm here. Any day now. <laughs> but I was so set on getting a dog yesterday and it didn't happen and then yeah, and then I did my hair and I've just had like what 30 minutes to 45 minutes of a break to sitting down my back is killing me right now and tomorrow I still have to go to work which is just like uh, whatever so at least it's not for long or whatever it's just the one day and then the weekend starts so it's technically like pre-weekend right now so it is what it is it's fine today is a day of bad decisions I'm just gonna finish my salt and vinegar chips that I opened up a couple days ago The sourness of salt and vinegar, it always gets me on the first bite, but I just love it. Anywho, I'm going to finish this and I have a lot of things to catch up on. I've been too lazy about, but like now that I feel look good, feel good, it's time to get things done, right? <laughs> so, hopefully, you can revive this vlog some way, somehow. Last time you saw me, I was making a shirt, if I'm not mistaken, a new shirt. I ran out of binding like a brown thing to like make I'll show you in a second but I got some more stuff from Walmart to finish that shirt off and the next thing to do after that is completely up to me so I think I'm gonna go to my room and do that so come along okay so the other day I showed you this I was making a shirt it's inside out hold on I'll probably finish my chips first and then get to working on this because I don't want chip hands to ruin it but here is what she's looking like so i ran out of this like brown trim at the bottom that i was using to kind of like finish off the raw edges because uh hello cute looks better when all of it's gonna be done but yeah i ran out of that so i went to go get more and i took the leftover that i had of the trim strip just to see if I can like match it and like find another one and thank goodness I brought it with me because I almost bought two trimmings of like a different sort of brown and if I brought it home with me I would have been super mad so thank goodness I brought it but they didn't have the smaller size that I was using for the band and for the armhole so I had to get a bigger one it's kind of like twice the size but I figured it's okay sure because it's going to be for the neckline anyway so maybe it's better that way that it's different so it's still the same brown color but it's just a little bit bigger or not a little bit like twice the size as that one but that's fine so i'm gonna quickly eat my little snack here and we're gonna get to work because we've been slacking i've been slacking there's no we in this it's me i've been slacking you've done nothing you've done nothing i'm just bringing you along making you accountable for my actions unbelievable how do I live with myself? Anyway, yeah, let me do that real quick and I'm gonna get started. And yeah, I'm stalling. I'm stalling. Okay. It's a couple hours later. There's fireworks going on right now. My dog is having an anxiety attack and I am just defeated. It was going so well and then I messed up. It's just the front has these corners that are just hard to get around so I'm gonna have to seam uh, the, the fireworks are ridiculous <laughs> I'm going to have to seam rip all around and I'm gonna have to just go to Joann's and see if I can get a smaller bias tape from them instead of the big one and then I have to look at videos as to how to do this properly if not it's just gonna be like a u-shaped neckline instead of a square one and at that at this point I don't care if it is or isn't so but it was going so well like it's almost done it was just the neckline that i saved for last because i knew it was going to be complicated and i went ahead and messed her up so that's what's going on my batter is dying i'll catch you guys tomorrow after work good night good afternoon world and all who inhabit it how are you doing how are you doing i got a little tongue tied with my words there for a second i'm gonna just prop you up here on my favorite place what is this golden hour lighting is weird i got home well i left work earlier today and then i did a little bit of driving around 
and then I'm home now and it's 4.50 so we're doing good on time. Number one, I went to Joann's to get that brown trimming that I had ran out of and I tried to use one from Walmart but it was too big. That whole situation that went on last night, I got four of those like little packs of trimming just to have just in case if I need it for something else. And then right next to it, excuse me, right next to Joann's was a five below and I ended up getting a yoga mat and a 10 pound kettlebell thing, I think that's what it's called, to try and like motivate me to exercise. Lately, I've been wanting to get back on my fitness game and just not even like summer body because we're like halfway through summer and I have done nothing to that, but like just to be overall like healthier, you know what I mean? Like I just feel like my my body is a pyramid, right? And this pyramid is just having a heart. What is going on? Oh. I'm preheating the oven to put a frozen pizza in it, and it's making all these weird sounds. I don't know what's going on. It's fine. It's a Red Robin deep dish pizza. There were two in here. I ate one the other day, and I'm having the second one right now. What am I gonna do for dinner at the moment? I don't know. I have no groceries. I have I have no plan. I gotta figure all that stuff out. Tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I'm in the mood to do it today. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I want to get back on my health game somehow or just probably eat better, make better choices. But I figured if I want to start working out, I should try to do it at home instead of trying to go and get a fitness member or a gym membership and then never using it and then wasting all this money. Like I have like two or three years, maybe. I think I wasted um, a gym membership for no reason because I went and I would go like once every three months. Like that's not. No. So, and then, and then at, at, at Five Below, I made this decision. I made my, uh, the, the, I made the decision to get chips as I was leaving. And I said, oh, I figured I'd have some on my way home. And um, I, I, I got home and I was still not open. So I don't know what happened there, but I bought it. Maybe I'll use it as a reward snack one of these days. I don't know, but I'm trying not to buy a lot of junk food now. I have to like rearrange my mindset to like try and eat healthy but like that's already so hard because I'm already so picky to eat but I made the first step which was get a yoga mat or some sort of mat so I can try and work out at home and these floors are super hard and cold so that and the ball so I figured watch a couple YouTube videos you know follow the moves and all that good stuff and maybe I'm not necessarily trying to lose weight or gain weight I'm just trying to just like not keel over or or get dizzy when I stand. You know, I mean, like this should, <laughs> normal people stuff. Like I need to be able to get around about my house and not feel like oh my god I'm friggin' winded. So that's the plan. I'm gonna make my pizza, have that for a quick afternoon snack, and then as that is making or cooking, I'm going to go and sort out that shirt that I was making yesterday. I need to seam rip the whole top part, figure out how exactly I'm gonna do it and try not to like get annoyed and like want to rip the entire thing out. So that is what we're going to do. Um, and then go from there. I'm, I'm like in this weird teeter-totter where I want to do some more crochet, but then I also want to sew, but I want to do more crochet. And I, you know, it's a whole, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. So we're trying to just find a balance and be able to do both. Also, two nights ago, the little thing that was hanging up here by my plant, the fake plant that has fallen. The other one that I had up there fell down too. The plant I'm realizing that I put up there, the fake one was far too heavy and the other one was just fine and I, I, I don't know. Either way, they have both since then fallen and now I have nothing up here. So, gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna do with that soon. And what else is there to talk about? Not too, too much of a mess, the table. We'll clean it up in a minute. I've just been cutting patterns out on the floor and stuff, so I was just keeping stuff close by here anyways. That's pretty much it. Everything is everything's going pretty, pretty good, pretty well. As a reward to myself, if I'm able to finish that shirt today, unpick the, 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 the seam, redo the neckline, and finish it, then as a reward to myself, I will allow myself to go to the thrift store tomorrow and find some fabrics that I can probably use to like cut up, upcycle, whatever, what have you, to make more stuff to sew with because 
yeah otherwise i can't buy any more yarn i have way too much and i need to go through that before i can even think about buying some more like i cannot like big old pow pow anyways it's getting hot i want to turn the ac back on so just checking in saying hello and we're gonna have to end this vlog at some point i don't know if it's today or early in the morning but i have to edit this vlog and it's got to go up on sunday so wish me luck maybe i should do that too i don't know if i'm able to do those two things do the shirt and edit this vlog i can do whatever the heck i want tomorrow and not feel bad about it sounds like a plan all right guys i have you on top of my conditioner thing so hopefully you don't fall but i managed to finish this shirt number one this whole thing was like annoying not even the whole thing the neckline this top portion here honestly just <sighs> super annoying super annoying to figure out but i figured it out I feel like if I practice it a little more often, I would probably have like much more of like a seamless, seamless finish or like just a very nice professional finish over here. The armholes, this part was very easy to do with the binding, super easy. It was just turning the corners and pointing, that was just a whole thing. Had it been just like kind of like a U neckline, I think it would have worked out a lot easier, but just trying to get that perfect sharp corner. And then on the back here, same thing where it just kind of drops down to a view like you can tell like it's just horrible and then me trying to figure this whole thing out i probably stretched it out made it all weird looking and all that stuff so will i ever do this kind of finish for a top like this again i don't think so there was another way that the pattern wanted me to do this part in order to make it all look nice and i was like mm, that's just gonna waste a lot of fabric and now i know why <laughs> they wanted you to do it that way so i'll probably do it again in that way but just leave this part like with binding instead how i have it and just do the neckline differently but i don't hate it the armholes are a little weird i don't know if it's just me and me trying to figure out how to do the shirt that maybe i stretched it out or something i don't know it's not completely annoying it's just like maybe if i ironed it washed it whatever it'll kind of sort of relax into its own shape maybe i don't know that's just me analyzing as I go on, I mean, it's not, it's not totally annoying, but there's that. And I really do like the back part, the V, but again, different way of doing it. I'm gonna have to figure out that out to then like ease my brain. But otherwise, I like it. I'm very proud of myself that I finished it. Feels really good to have something done. Although I didn't really put like my tags on it just cause like if I wash it, it might just kind of come apart, but that's okay. But I plan on making another one hopefully in the meantime soon but i am going to go walk smokey because he needs to go outside it's about that time that me and him go outside to go on a walk and then when i come back from the walk i'm going to start to edit this video here as well as take a little break here and there to like plan some other stuff because if i edit straight through i get like oh my god it feels like so much but it's really not so yeah the light is like anyway so brb Comment down below how proud you are of me that I finished this top. Was the brown accent a smart idea? I don't know. I don't know. But I do like a shirt. I, I mean, I could wear this around in the house or whatnot. I mean, if I made another one, it would probably come out a little bit better than this. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'm literally almost done with editing the vlog. I just need to put an outro in it, so I'm gonna do that right now. And I realized as I was editing the whole video that I never showed you what became of that crochet top that I was making. I had the right idea. I think I'm gonna try and reattempt to do it. I think where I left, last left off, like I was just like a little bit disappointed with it. But I feel like if I adjust it differently, then it could probably end up how I want it, kind of. It was just that the back where you put the loops through like i didn't really think through how i wanted to make that so the sides here it's just when you're when you're wearing it you kind of end up pulling on the loops and it's just like it's like a very skinny little loop for such a thick strap to go through so that just wasn't sitting right with me when i made it or when i finished it sort of so i was just like mm. I had the right idea, I was getting somewhere, but I wasn't too happy with how the back of the whole thing ended up, but here, just so that you guys can get a visual. Also, I had dinner, <laughs> just some more, like, lo mein, and, um, okay, so, 
here's the end product right it looks a little big on the viewfinder but it might be that i'm just blind anyways so this is what it came out to be and then the back is obviously like you can tie it and whatnot and like i just whatever but as i was trying to like tie it like tighter like i was realizing that it was going through the holes in the back which aren't like reinforced like how thick the strap is and i was worried that too much of doing that would eventually like break it so i was on the right track i think i like it so far like this style and this style of cuff it was just figuring out the strap for me was just the biggest part of why it didn't end up how i wanted it to end up but like i'm halfway there right if i can figure out and like what to do with the straps themselves then maybe and i think i have somewhat of an idea of what i might want to try but my brain's not ready for it yet and it already took me so long to make just this part trying to figure that out and the thing with crochet it's like sometimes at least for me because i'm so picky i like a continuous thing i don't want to i don't like having to continue to like cut the yarn and start somewhere else and like that was just too much so that was part of the problem for me but I think we can figure out figure her out so so that is the update on that and i think there was some other stuff that i probably mentioned but i can't figure it out so yeah this vlog was just yeah to be honest with you mm -hmm. um but no i'm gonna end the vlog here it's always a pleasure just to kind of just share my life this is, this is what i had to go through basically this week which is just like it was just, you know, a little window into what I kind of do on the day-to-day -day and stuff. So, I'm planning on tomorrow being a very big day for me. I have some errands to run as well as go to the thrift store, which I haven't been to in maybe two weeks. I'm not sure, but I would like to get some more fabric. I'm excited to remake that shirt again in a different way to see if that's a lot easier to make. So, Lots of things to do, lots of things to plan, just trying to continue and keep going. So, thank you very much for watching this video. If you got this far, I appreciate you very, very much. And I will see you on the next video, hopefully. Good night and goodbye, Smokey. Anywho, bye. Oh wait, also, I forgot to show you. I mentioned it, but you couldn't really see it as I was explaining it on the video. But this is how the finishing kind of sort of turned out with the top like you can tell here like the corner is not looking too good anything here that corner is not looking it just wasn't put together properly if you can see there and then the backing that little v was just just wasn't it it just wasn't hitting the way i wanted it to so i don't know if you can see that <laughs> i'm just too lazy to pick up the camera right now but it's a good first try, but I just realized as I was like editing, I was like, I don't even think, I think they need to see a close up because from far away, from far away, and if you close your eyes and squint your head sideways, it looks really good. But in person, you can see the imperfections, at least on the inside, not so much on the outside. But that was all, that's all I needed to say. And with that, good night.